Hey guys, so this week the pickups that I have are just incredible. Like seriously, it's it's just awesome what I found this week. Go uh, share this video everywhere. Let people know. Uh, we'll get started with the simple things. Uh, I was rummaging through a kid's stuff at his garage sale. Found the Game Boy Advance ST for two dollars. Still works. Did not come with the adapter, sadly. Uh, so I'll have to find one of those, but still two dollars for working SP. That's good. We've got two NES games, paid a buck each on these. Both are great games. Well, one is a great game, the other is just cool, I guess. Top Gun, that's not the great game. And Metal Gear, which of course I love Metal Gear Solid, so I was looking to get that one for a while. <coughs> now, to get into the really awesome things. Um, from a guy I know um, uh, in Ottawa, uh, I you know I, I bought stuff from him before. He was selling a bunch of empty boxes and manuals. And he gave me a great deal on them, and I'll show you exactly what I found from him. Uh, first off, I've got a bunch of different manuals here. Uh, you've got GoldenEye 007, Super Mario 64, Glover, which I've never played, and it looks cool, but apparently it's not. <laughs> Anyways, um, put that one behind. Uh, Shadow Man, that's cool. Mario Golf, another cool one. Perfect Dark, very popular game. Uh, another 007 game. God. The World is Not Enough. Robotron 64, never heard of that game before. And of course, the best manual in this lot, where did it go? Conquer's Bad Fur Day. Uh, so yeah, those are the manuals. Now let's get into the boxes. So we've got the empty box, these are all empty boxes, obviously I have the games for some of them. We were about on 64. Now the reason they were such a good price was because not to some of them are in really bad shape, especially one really nice one, which is in really bad shape. Um, but still, it's you know it's great. Uh, Donkey Kong 64. You know I flatten them and they they look much better than they did before. They have, I've had them flattened for two weeks now. Duke Nukem Zero Hour. It's cool. Really nice box of uh, Shadow Man. A box that I've been looking for for an extremely long time. Yoshi's Story. Of course, Mario Golf. Uh, another great game. I absolutely love this game, as do many people. Kirby 64 is missing a panel over there, sadly. Still cool. Uh, another nice game. Pretty valuable with the box. Mario Party 3. That's in good shape. Now here's the one that's sadly in really bad shape. The whole side here is missing, but it's the box for StarCraft 64. Really bad shape, but I mean, you know, it'll be more just for display than anything else. And of course, Conquer's Bad Fur Day. This is a great box. Um, I managed to get it in pretty nice shape. You know, there's some wear on the edges, but it has a good form still. And that's important. So those are all of the boxes, and of course I have the games for, I don't know, I've got the game for Mario Party 3, so that'll have with the box. I've got the game for Kirby 64, so that I'll have in the box. I've got the game for Yoshi's Story and the manual. And I think that's actually it, so I have to get all of these games now. And then, of course, if that was not a steal enough, uh, at a pawn shop that I uh, frequent fairly often, but they very rarely get anything cool, and they had DuckTales too. Fourteen ninety nine for this game. Um, they obviously knew it was worth more than a regular game because... Most of their games are $3 automatically, no matter what it is. So when I saw this, I was like, wow, $3 for DuckTales too. But no, they wanted a $14.99 maybe because they figured the guy who gave it and wrapped it, uh, plasticized it, so they figured it might be worth more. Uh, so I guess it was a collector. But, but then I'm thinking what, what collector would pawn it for less than $15. Anyways, very cool to pick this up. Very nice addition to the collection game that I've been looking for for a very long time. Uh, of course, everything I found today was just, well, this week, was just uh, great. And uh, I'm very excited to have more complete in box N64 games, especially ones like uh, Conqueror's Bad Fur Day, Mario Party 3, Yoshi Story, all great and fun games. This was another steal of the week. Thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, seeing as it's the end of May, I figured I'd ask you once again to go over to the YTGC uh, gaming Community Awards, um, if I remember I'll put a link somewhere, an annotation or at the end of the video or in the description.
you go there, you just gotta vote uh, Retro Gamer Vlog for Best YouTube Noob, um, if that's what you think, obviously. I'd really appreciate if you did that for me. Uh, it would be an honor to be nominated by all of you guys. So thank you very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead, click that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time. So thank you very much for watching this episode of the Retro Gamer Vlog. You can go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. You can leave me a comment. You can like this video. Go ahead and follow me on Twitter at Retro Gamer Vlog. You can add me on Facebook as a friend. My name on Facebook is Retro Mike. You can go ahead and click to see the playlist for more pickup videos or the playlist for more game hunting videos. And so until next time, this has been Mike from the Retro Gamer Vlog. See you.